Hello there, fans. This is Derek the V Extreme, and what can I say? It's 4 a.m. where I'm in Florida. I'm tired as hell, but I figured I would tell you guys something because I've been wanting to do a video like this for quite a time. You know. I was originally going to tell you all why I haven't done DCWL in a while, but I figured I can tie why I haven't done DCWL in a while to also what else I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to remain as serious as I possibly can on this. I might get a little angry, but I'm going to try not to. But, alright, here it goes. Gotta, gotta rip it off like a bandage. Alright, well, let me just begin with my first topic. DCWL. Question, Mark, why has it not uploaded like it has? Why is it not, why does it take weeks to do the DCWL shows? Or why does it take months? Why does it take weeks to do the ATW shows? All question mark ended. Well, to all those of you who do care about my show, who I adore, who the people who do take the time out of their busy lives to watch some of my shows, I will give you an honest answer. The reason why I haven't done DCWL is because I've had a lot going in my life so far. And I was really looking forward to this summer. I was going to be doing a lot of work more. But I've been so busy with other projects that I'm doing that it's almost impossible for me to keep up with call. Now, uh, I started DCWL be like there was half Danny Jackpot and half Skull. Now, Skull is what influenced me to make my... Well, it didn't really influence me to make the lead, but it encouraged me to. Danny Jackpot is the one who basically told me I should do my lead, so he kind of is the one who really created DCWL in a way, because I probably wouldn't have done it. I mean, I had the idea of doing a random tournament for a random title, and Danny Jackpot said, why not just do a call lead? And, you know, that's that's what I ended up doing. I ended up making my own colleague, and I will say that people have every right to say they don't like my videos, just like with anyone else. They have every right to. Honestly, I would say the first season of DCWL was pretty much a damn shame. I mean, the beginning of it, there wasn't really much storylines, and to be honest, I was I kind of liked it that way. But then I kind of got somewhere down the line, I ended up thinking, well, I should be like other call shows and I should have storylines. So I ended up making a ridiculous Brett Michaels versus Dan Doomsday storyline. And we all, anyone who watched the New Legacy, all knows how that turned out. Or hell, anyone that's gone to something awful for them or been on Burps. AB Partridge, AP Partridge channel, whatever, has knows what how that amounted to. Well, that's um, so. I would say that's the reason. Well, um, so and I've been finding out more lately that I really like doing random shows more than I like actually doing these um, doing a storyline show. I mean, it's just a lot easier. I mean, I'm, you could ask Danny Jack, but I've always been the one who's more than willing to put on a project. And, invent, and I'm actually doing one project for Danny Jackpot now while I'm finishing off his FNW um, CPV that I never got to do. And I took it upon myself to do it for him. And the matches aren't going to change that much. Really, they're all pretty much going to be the same. I'm just going to probably add a participant here and there. That's what I'm going to do. 
And I do plan on doing DCWL again. In fact, I'm working on DCWL LOL Random 3 as we speak. And let me just tell you, it's it's honestly really hard sometimes for me to do this. And I, I don't feel that I should hide anything from the fans. Everyone, everyone kn should know me better so they can understand me better. I've been going through a little bit. I've been going through a depression that's really... I mean, it's really changed my mind with a lot of things. It's also really hurt me, and I'm... Like I say, I like to give a shout out to Biff Andreas, a man who stuck through me um, through some time that I told him about some of my stuff, and I like to say a shout out to TC, who's also been there and who helped me out during my time. And I would say that, like, like I've just been really depressed. I'm not gonna make a sob story out of it. I'll say it was really bad. If anyone's been on the SMF forum and they've seen my topic about me saying I was depressed already and they've seen where I did try to commit suicide then you know it hasn't really gotten any better since then. I've been put in a mental hospital well, not really a hospital, more like a crisis. We call it here a crisis center. It's, it's called different things, places else. But I've been put in there, I'd be like, two times I've been put in there. I want to say three, but it's only two. I've been to two crisis centers and an actual hospital, but I was in the hospital to get progressed into the crisis center. And a crisis center is more like a teen help. And that's what's really been happening. So as you can imagine, I've had a lot of things happening. I've been going through a lot of my own developmental. I've been trying to do stuff with my family. I've been trying to reconnect with my sister, who, who I've never really had a relationship with. I'm talking to one of my other sisters who's in jail. And I'm going through a little rough time with my oldest sister. And... You know, I just had a lot of, you know, I'm not going to say it any other way. I've had some problems. I'm not going to make a sob story out of it because I don't feel I need to. I'm not saying it's an excuse why I'm not doing DCWL. I'm saying it's just a reason. No, nothing else but that. I'm try I try to keep real with the audience because I know that in any other real life situation I would really want someone to be real with me so yeah that's pretty much it I saying that I do want like I'm thinking that this season like this last season of of DCWR like what I I'm not going to say the last season but I'm thinking that this season the one I'm going to be doing is going to be the last season of DCWL. The reason why is because of the fact that, like I said, that I love doing random matches more than I like doing call on like actual actual call leagues. I mean, I the but you guys might be saying, well, why don't you just quit DCWL right now and just go on to write um random call um stuff. Well, that's the thing with me. I hate leaving, no matter if it's one, um, a thousand or just one person who watches my league, or two, two or three people who watch my league. It's not about that. It's about the, it's not about if I can pick up and leave. I feel like I owe it to the fans to wrap up the storylines. Like, any possible storylines I have, or any possible things I come up with, I feel that I should all be able to wrap them up. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to be the last season because I'm not sure yet. I'm saying, as of right now, it's the last. This would be the last season. I'm so for the few people who do watch my league. Now you know, and I feel like I need to address some other things too. And 
Another one is I'm going to say about really about um, what people's responses to me. Now, Homer says that he is called, like, I called myself the proud smartass. Homer's response to that is simply, you're a dumbass. Now, if he thinks I'm a dumbass, he's more entitled to his opinion. I don't really care. I've never been the one who to suck up to Homer. I think even Homer knows I've never been like that. And I would say that in my past days I have been two-faced and I will more than willingly admit it. I have been two-faced. But the only time I can really recall me being two-faced was with a burp, with a situation with burp, with about a smoky. I even forget, like, it was so long ago that I pretty much forgot what the hell it was even about, but that is only time I remember being two-faced, and God knows people like WEDF, Homer, Sprite, all of them make sure they remembered it, but again... I'm not going to really say nothing. You know, I got more important things in my life to worry about than just what a bunch of people on the internet think about me. I'm only making this video really just to state how I feel on the topic matter so we can all go home feeling like we know it. Now, people, like, I really don't regret anything I do. Do I think I've been stupid on occasion and call? Yes, but do I regret some of the stuff I've done and call? No. I tell the person I believe that everything happens for a reason. Like, I've told Biff sorry about being cocky with my call back when it was first started, and me and him have actually had a pretty good friendship, and I'm going to say that that by me realizing how stupid I was by being cocky with Carl has made me with my call is has made me better friends with Beth than I probably ever would have been. And so I don't really regret what I did because it it's really given me a new outlook on things. Carl has been a really good learning experience and I mean I know this is just supposed to be a place Cause it's supposed to be a hobby that you do, and it's not really something that you should be able to move on and make more like emotional outlooks with things with it. But I do feel like I have made some progress in it, despite what other people think about me. Now, as I was saying, Homer said I was a dumbass. And like I said, he has a right to his own opinion. I don't care. The reason why I call myself the proud smartass is not because of the of something called for forms what I've done. No. Is it a is it like maybe maybe twenty percent the reason? I'd say maybe twenty percent of the reason, yes. But where the proud smartass really comes is really deep in my own really deep in my own roots. People have called me a smart ass in real life for, I don't know, since I was like 10. And probably younger than that, I've always been a guy with a sense of humor. I've always been the guy who said clever things and made jokes. I've always done that. And people in return have called me a smart ass. I call myself the proud smart ass. Because I don't, because I find it what I do very humorous, and I really don't care, and I and I find that it's a lot better to be, like I call like I find it that in society that we look at the ass part too much in smart ass. I look at the smart in it, and that's really what drives me to it and I find myself to be a very perceptual person so really that's why I call myself the proud smartass and well this 
part two will be coming up in a little bit. So yeah.